It's that kind of day. I hate him so much right now. I miss the old Kanye. Straight from the gold Kanye. That Kanye has been gone. <laughs> So we're going to brunch, guys. Um, I'm not really sure what's gonna happen. Film when we get there. So I'm Zara'd out. We got a little bit of a Levi's short going, a Gucci belt, a little bag. Kendra's got some Zadig. Zara? Zara. Zara has some cute ass stuff right now, guys. No, this is hella old. Oh, <laughs> shit. I'm so cool. Whoa, what? Oh, fucking cool. Hey, hey. Wait, <laughs> And then we just rotate it. Kendra, talk to them about how we got scammed. <laughs> so we totally got scammed at this brunch. The bottomless mimosas are $20. So we're like, yeah, we're gonna get that. So it came like this little up. fucking like, you know, ultra band. And then we look at the menu, the drink menu, and realize the Prosecco, the bottle is $39. I was like, well, we could have just ordered a bottle of Prosecco and not have to do $20 off yeah. your mind. You know what, I'm over it. And then they brought us a whole other ass bottle. I'm over it, I'm over it. And now we have two bottles and we're gonna black out in the middle of Aventura Mall. <laughs> it's not okay. God, hey guys. So excuse me if I look terrible. I don't have any kind of makeup on or anything because I'm supposed to be going to Soho. Well, I am going there. Oh, it's so hot. The weather is kind of literally raining on my parade. So I have massages booked in for myself, Lexi, Faye, and Amber at three. And we were just kind of like, you know what, let's get there like an hour or two early and just like, we weren't really expecting to get sun because it was kind of overcast, but just like sit by the pool and chill. And it's now like sprinkle raining. <laughs> so I don't really know. I don't know. I guess I'll just go over there, whatever. Like did the most and put all of my stuff. This is like my bougie pool bag. Um, I put everything in this Balenciaga bag, which like, I'm still not convinced that I like, by the way, guys, but I did like spruce it up a little bit with this um, Fendi strap you strap that I also kind of never use. So I don't know, I think that just made it like a little bit more cute, but I'm still totally not convinced about this bag. Like clearly I'm not too concerned about it. I have like my sunscreen and my like cool day toiletries just tossed in here. I have like a whole other outfit in there. I'm wearing fun sunglasses today too, although, ew, what is that? <clears throat> although I don't think I'm actually gonna need them. I was wearing my little gentle monster ones. They're so fun. I love like the gray white tortoise situation. Um, but yeah, so I guess I'll drive over there and see what the situation is like weather-wise, but I guess I can always chill in the covered part. Shit, yeah, it says it's gonna rain out one o'clock. And that's like the crazy thing about Miami weather. I'm telling you like, it could just change from hour to hour. Like there's no way to really track it. back home now um, it's still the same day and it's much later in the day and I realized that I've been super bad at vlogging over the last um, couple of days I meant to blog blog vlog more at brunch yesterday and as you guys probably would have seen by this point there were two bottles of champagne involved <laughs> I completely forgot I was even vlogging yeah then today I went with the girls to Soho house as I was explaining earlier like sat by the pool did our thing had some lunch and um, then we went and had our massages and I wanted to vlog more and I usually can vlog more there, but like, it, I don't know. I don't know if it's because like Britney Spears was there two days ago, apparently one of you guys DM'd me about it and we were like, oh shit, she was. They were being so crazy about like people taking pictures and stuff and said it is in their policy that it's like a no photo zone, like whatever. But usually there's always like girls, you know, taking like outfit pictures and whatever. And like everybody by the pool that was even like trying to take a selfie, they would like come at them and be like, oh, like, you know, you can take like a picture or two, but um, you know, please like keep it to a minimum type of shit. 
And then when we even went to go sit upstairs to like have a coffee after our massages, cause we were all like passing out. The coasters that they brought us literally were like Soho Beach House. And the other side of the coaster was like a camera with like an X through it. We were like, what the fuck? That's definitely new. Um, I don't know if any of you guys are members at the other Soho houses or if you have all house, whatever, do they all have those coasters? Cause we were kind of like, oh shit, this is new. Anyway, I thought I would show you guys what I keep in my pool bag. <laughs> and this is probably a pretty fancy pool bag, but as you guys know, I don't particularly care for this bag <laughs> and um, I'm finding uses for it. And as I don't have my Goyard uh, St. Louis tote at the moment, I just threw everything in here today. I didn't really care if it got rained on. It was like drizzling a little bit or whatever. Um, so I just thought I would show you guys what I usually take with me to a pool day at Soho. Um, pool day is not usually as intense as a beach day for some reason, cause I don't get like that sandy. Things don't get everywhere. The pool beds are huge. So, you know, you can bring something like this. I mean, even Lexi like had her Birkin by the pool today and we were like, whatever, it was fine. And what's interesting is I was a little bit confused because I felt that this one looked bigger than some of the other small city bags that I've seen. And for some reason, compared to like the graffiti one or just like the classic uh, small city, the metallic edge small city is a little bit larger. I don't really know why, but I looked up the dimensions on Fashion File and I was like, okay, that makes sense. That's why it is like a weird in between size from the like classic one than like the true small, but this is technically the small city. I don't know if that makes sense, but let's just see what's in here. As I mentioned earlier, I have my Fendi strap you strap on it. And that just like, I don't know, adds a little something to it. Although I find that I typically carry this bag like this or like this. So shit, I should get this out of there. I have like a whole bikini in here. <laughs> um, it's not like really dirty or anything. I did wear it into the steam room, so it's like a little moist. Wrapped in a plastic shower cap, <laughs> and I was wearing this bikini bottom today. So it's this like checkered material. This is from Zara, size large, you know, fits my wide ass and all. And yeah, this is really comfy actually, I really like this. And I was wearing a mismatched bikini top. I've been trying to like mix and match my um, bikini sets lately. I was wearing this one from Forever 21, and I was wearing it under that like, oversized um, maxi dress thing that you guys, I don't know if you guys saw me in it. I wanted to show you my outfit while we were there, but I was too paranoid to film. I was like, let me not even like open the gates to hell with this. And um, this was in there too. This is my like essentials for going to the beach. So, well, we took these just because we wanted to try them. And um, we use these like, there's just so many of them in the like locker room. It's like the nicest locker room I've ever been in. But um, the spa there is a cow shed spa. So they use only cow shed products. I took this just because I used it. I don't wanna like put it back. It's the Lavender Gentle Cleanser and the Refreshing Chamomile Toner. So I will actually just kind of like leave these in my pool pouch now, just so like every time I go, I'm not like taking more. Um, so these are just my ones now. I also have a little deodorant in there. I'm very weird about that. I'm weird about smelling not great, not fresh. So I always have deodorant with me. And I do typically tend to shower there after I've been like in the pool or at the beach, just because I don't know, I want to be clean, I guess to get back in my car. I have this little hand sanitizer. I'm really a mermaid. It smells like fresh and clean. I honestly just got this when I was buying candles cause it's cute. And I thought that would be perfect for my pool bag. I have one of these guys in here. So just a brush. And this is the only reason that my hair is looking somewhat decent post steam room. Um, I don't know why I put this in here. <laughs> this is the Glam Glow Instamud. I just got this in the mail. I don't know if it's out yet. I just fell. I'm actually balancing you guys on my Chanel mini flap. I don't know if you can see the ends of it, the edges of it rather. Um, I always keep one of these with me. I have them like thrown in so many of my handbags, the IGK. Rich Kid Coconut Oil Gel. My hair was really frizzy or something. I could have like done, you know, like a low pony and like used it to kind of smooth the top down. But I also do love to take just like a little bit of this and run it like through my ends. And if my hair is feeling a little bit dry, which it kind of was, cause I had it up in like a weird bun during my massage. It was like kind of creased and dry, I don't know. Um, it'll rehydrate my ends a little bit. So I always love to have this with me, especially like after being on the beach or in the sun, whatever. And then I brought this with me too, just like an all time favorite. I always, um, Throw this in my bag if I know I'm gonna be like washing my face or something anywhere but home. It's my cosmetics 
Confidence in an eye cream brightens, repairs, and transforms. This stuff is the shit, guys. I absolutely adore this eye cream. And of course, a scrunchie. This is one of my favorites, my black glitter scrunchie. A Scentbird perfume. Oh, I need to get a new one. I'm almost out. This is the Malin and Getz uh, cannabis one. Absolutely love this. Love Scentbird. I gotta pick out a new one soon, actually. I think I'm about to do. Lip oil. This is the Nuni Kissable one. So this one is revitalizing and tinting. Always good to just like add a little bit of color while you're hydrating. It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation SPF 50. So I don't actually like this as much as the CC cream, but it's a little more of like a natural finish. It's actually what I'm wearing now. Yeah, I threw this on and it's nice. It's a natural finish for sure. Um, I don't know. It's just not as like full coverage as they say it is. To me, this is more like a traditional CC cream tinted moisturizer where their full coverage CC cream, the cosmetics one is like straight up full coverage. I'm obsessed with it. That's that. I also have this, which I didn't need to use today because it was not even remotely sunny, but this is the Hawaiian Tropic Dry Oil um, clear sun spray, broad spectrum. I wasn't really trying to tan, even if the sun had been out today. I feel like when I'm really trying to tan, I will go to the beach at Soho and like lay in the direct sunlight, but this is good. It's like not messy, doesn't stain, and it's like super easy to spray on yourself. So that's more for just um, like going to the pool because their pool isn't like in super direct sunlight. And this is water resistant, which I like because when I'm getting in and out of the pool and stuff, um, I don't always want to have to be like worrying about reapplying and if I'm going to get burned because although I do tan, hand pretty nicely. I do also burn very easily. <laughs> Charger, of course. I think my phone, I think my phone's charging because it was about to die. I did not bring my Mophie at all today. I didn't charge it. I was like frazzled without it, but I did bring a charger. Evian water. I should probably put this in the fridge. I took like two sips of it. What is this? Guest pass? I don't know. They were doing construction and they had to like give you a pass to like get to the pool or whatever, but wallet as well. By the way, I'm not just like randomly throwing things around. Um, I'm just trying to like reorganize it a little bit and take some things out. This is uh, money that goes with that. I had a dress in there, a whole dress in here. This one's just from Zara. It's like a little tunicky thing. And I was gonna put this on had I gotten like super sweaty, but I didn't really. So I ended up not wearing it. <laughs> what the hell? I have these things. I ended up actually taking these out of my bikini top. The hair tie. There we go. One of these ones. And then my Gentle Monster Sunnies, which I did not, in fact, end up needing. 